respected dear family members my pranams to you in the last class i was explaining about the indian scientific and technological heritage in which i very specifically mentioned that we have to learn our heritage we have to learn the scientific and technological heritage and also to the extent possible we have to teach the these heritage information and knowledge to the next generation with a particular goal that a sense of pride as an indian should be created when i say i am a great indian naturally the question will come why i am great how i am great and what are the factors which promote me to say that i am great indian so we can inform the world and also our generation that we are great because we have got the literature heritage the spiritual heritage the technological heritage the sun the linguistic heritage philosophical heritage in which a major part of heritage can be attributed to the science and technology of india so creating a sense of pride secondly to inform the world that <clears throat> what we are learning now what the world is wrongly thinking that these are all the discoveries of the european countries or england or america correcting that we have to inform that we have invented we have discovered tens and thousands of bits of knowledge may not be at par with the present level but not at the level of merely concept but with the fact and figures we have to inform the world that we have discovered these many things with the scientific proof and historical evidences so we have to take what is due to us and thirdly we have to utilize majority of these heritage knowledge for making our present day life useful purposeful fruitful and meaningful you just see we are utilizing the knowledge of ayurveda we are utilizing the knowledge of yoga we are utilizing the knowledge of vedic mathematics we are utilizing the knowledge of metallurgy existed in india and masonry work and granite work civil engineering work and a variety of metallic alloys are produced in india using ancient indian knowledge so for utilizing ancient indian knowledge for making our life comfortable in the 21st century we have to learn indian heritage so three purposes are there for learning indian heritage one for creating a sense of pride as an indian two to inform the world and get what is due to us and the third thing very clearly is that applying those knowledge in the modern life and unfortunately there are three category of people all over india particularly in kerala that is what i think most appropriate word to be used in kerala and in india we can see one group of people blindly blindly claim that every type of knowledge existed in india and vedas are full of knowledge we had missiles in india we had aeroplanes in india we have got atomic weapons in india and everything existed in india they are creating lot of problem and they are just covering covering the true knowledge with the false claim and there are another small group of people another group of people saying that saying that nothing existed in india we had only some philosophy and some religion and some spirituality plus a little bit something about the sanskrit language they are also 100% wrong and another group of people used to say we have also invented little bit things like the zero pythagoras theorem and so on these three category people they are fully wrong 
They are completely wrong. In India, we have got, as I told you yesterday, mythological books for quoting the science. Quoting mythology need not be followed at all. Let the mythological book be mythological book. There are semi-mythological book, as I mentioned yesterday, our darshanas are semi-mythological books, Upavedas, Artha Shastra, Pure Economics, Dhanur Veda, The Science of Archery, Gandharva Veda, The Science of Music and Dance, Ayur Veda, Science of Health and Medicines, Stavatya Veda, Civil Engineering. These give lot of knowledge, scientific and technological knowledge, and little bit of religion or spirituality is also included in that. They can be labeled as semi-spiritual, semi-mythological book. You want to take from that, take it or let there be that group of literature as such. But the third group of literature where absolutely pure scientific literature are there in Sanskrit, just like Malayalam, Telugu, English, German language, French language, they have got pure, science, pure scientific and technological book. In India, we have got pure scientific and technological book in Sanskrit and also in regional languages. Unfortunately, unfortunately, not even few people, one dozen people have learned it. Not even, not even a preliminary understanding exists in the scientific and technological literature in India. We have got hundreds and thousands of Sanskrit mathematical books, Sanskrit mythological book, Sanskrit medical book, Sanskrit chemistry book, Sanskrit physics book, only small number, and Sanskrit psychological book and regional psychological books. Unfortunately, without studying all those things, <clears throat> without teaching all those things, we claim that, we declare that, we proclaim that all the, all the claims connected with the Indian scientific and technological heritages are just created by RSS and BJP. And unfortunately, RSP people also do not know about Indian scientific heritage. BJP people also do not know Indian scientific heritage. So, all are searching, <coughs> searching for the black cat which is not there in the dark room. In proclaiming nothing existed here. Or in proclaiming everything existed here. Or declaring that little bit of knowledge existed here. True knowledge, true knowledge existed here. That unfortunately we are not studying. And we create an impression and we think that the Sanskrit is the language for Veda. Any quotation from Sanskrit, they think that it is from Vedas. Even if I quote from Kalidasa's Shagundalam, they immediately say that it is from Veda. <clears throat> if I talk in Sanskrit language, discuss in Sanskrit language, then they declare that he is an RSS man. He is a BJP man. So here the so-called progressives, radicals and atheists with the other group of people have given, have given the total credit of Indian scientific and technological heritage to the ignorant RSS and BJP people. And just like whenever and wherever somebody sees the saffron, the saffron is the color which is used in India for the last not less than 10,000 years. Unfortunately, the moment you see saffron, you label it as saffronization and RSS and BJP. So if I say the if I say that the value of pi pi is chaduradigam chatamashtagunam dvashti stada sahasrana ayudadvaya viskambasya asano savrata varinaha. Immediately they say that you quote the Veda and you say you want to prove that when everything existed in, in Vedas. This is not Vedic line, it is Aryabhadiya, pure mathematical and astronomical book. So even the will to listen with an open heart, open mind, we lack. But one thing I want to declare in fact, as a person 
who has taken Doctor of Literature degree in science in Sanskrit, this knowledge will come out and this knowledge will prevail and the world will accept it. Even if some so-called <coughs> emeritus people say the head of elephant in human body is surgery. That is the most crucial negative blunder. And the head of the horse on human body, it is a mythological figure. We are justifying that by a few number of people, whether they are meritorious professors or not, and seeing that the head of the god in Daksha, and that is a surgical experiment. Vimana mentioned in, in Ramayana, that's a scientific and technological development, declaring all those things without any proof and by merely quoting one or two lines from a textbook, that creates problem. At the same time, if somebody would have told the Sisruta Samhita textbook has got full chapter about plastic surgery and in 1932 the first plastic surgeons international conference held in Paris first plastic surgeons international conference held in Paris in 1932 the invocation prayer was nothing but directly reading the chapter of Shushruta Samhita in which plastic surgery is explained. Suppose you are telling that, then credibility is there. Some ignorant people always will be closing their eyes and say that it is midnight now. For them, it is not our responsibility to prove that when this is day, not night. But for those who would like to see the light, that is those who would like to move from Tamasoma, Yodir Gamaya, for them this information will be good. Now that we are taking credit through France International Seminar or Paris International Seminar, but to inform the world that this achievement of India of plastic surgery has been approved the world over. So we can be proud of that. So this sense of creating a pride, informing the world that there are thousands and thousands of mathematical literature. I have got nearly 100 mathematical and astronomical books. There are hundreds and thousands of chemistry books which are available in the library of Ayurveda College in Trivandra. And they are all printed form, not merely manuscript form of palm leaves, they are available in printed form. Unfortunately, a small group of people created the impression which is being flying through print media, like Madhubhumi National Daily of Kerala has written an editorial belittling and degrading India as scientific heritage. And at least a line, if they would have told, would have been better. They did not say that we have got Indian scientific heritage. They did not say we have got a technological heritage. Instead they said that one, the mythological books are getting glorified as a scientific and technological book. Without even mentioning a one line, one line that our true scientific and technological heritage should be projected in the national and international forum, that has not been done. Merely mythological and semi-mythological books are getting the publicity as scientific book which definitely will create a wrong impression in the mind of the next generation. Instead of telling that, they want to stick that if Sanskrit lines are explained, it belongs to Vedas. If uh, we say scientific heritage, it goes to the credit of RSS and BJP. If we say that scientific and technological heritage, heritage existed in India, they think that it is Hindutva. Who created all this impression that 
everything Sanskrit, everything scientific, everything technological existed in India for the last many thousand years goes directly to RSS or BJP. Who created such impression? Why some people want to create such impression that all old India belongs to a group of people? That created problem. That problem is created by themselves. And the so-called progressive, so-called leftist, which was the main and important opposition in, in, ancient, in old India, not ancient India, post-independent India. How they got reduced into half a dozen MPs. How USSR got smashed out, crumbled. How Cuba is now crawling. And how one part of Korea is now degraded and got, got aligned with the other part of South Korea. And why that particular people got wiped out from Bengal. Why the youth from Bengal had to come over to Kerala for making their livelihood. Whereas from Tamil Nadu, Bihar, Andhra and other part of India, people coming to Kerala for getting their livelihood has got completely stopped. Now only the youngsters come from Bengal. They are 33 years or 35 years. The glorious communist party ruled. Still the poorest people we can see in Bengal with all the glory of the leaders of the poor people, they ruled that part of country. Why it happened? They denigrated India. They are denigrating India. They belittled India. They are belittling India. But the most glorious and positive thing is that their wives, their children, their family members, they are the worshippers of Indian heritage. That is the greatest thing. They themselves led into Asurya Namade Loka Ambeena Tamasa Avrda Tamste Pritya Abhigachandi Ege Chatna Hanojana They themselves led and they led a group of people to the blinding dark Asurika Loka Whereas cleverly they protected their own children and family members who later became the worshippers of Indian heritage And my request to you don't search the black cat which is not there in the dark room. Search for the reality, truth and fact which existed in India, existing in India, it will be existing in India and that is the true, real scientific and technological knowledge of India available through the non-mythological textbooks, available in front of your eyes as Delhi Iron Villa or the temples constructed by Pallavas, Cholas and Cheras and also the, the textiles, the metallic alloys and the ceramics, the glass vessels, the clay vessels and variety of materials existed in India for the last many thousand years we will be explaining. Tomorrow also the same subject as a continuation. My pronouns to you. Thank you very much.